Hello, Leo. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to do a general reading for you today, December 2020. Talking about love, relationships, marriage, uh, work, family, whatever comes out, I will interpret. Also, guys, I have a new channel. It's called Faith and Fire Tarot. I will leave a link to it below, but I have uh, more in-depth readings over there for Leo, love, and career readings. I encourage you to check it out. Let's get right into it. I'm going to pull one of these mystical shaman oracle cards to start, and then we'll get into the tarot. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all of these messages will resonate with every single person. If any of this does resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. All right, guys, let's see what we have for Leo, December 2020. We have Middle World, number 36. Okay, some kind of teetering between two worlds here. Feels like, uh, feel like, feeling like maybe somebody's stuck here. Let's get into the tarot and figure out what's going on with you, Leo. What's going on with Leo, December 2020, Spirit? We have the Five of Wands. Okay, some kind of competition, conflict you are having to deal with. We have the Death card, card of Scorpio. Some kind of ending. What else? We'll clarify what this is all about. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Working really hard on something here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool card, a new beginning coming in. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, we would have a Middle World card come out and then, you know, the Fool card. So, you guys are in the middle of some kind of transition in your life. Possibly in work, possibly in a relationship. I'm picking up a work vibe here with this Eight of Pentacles card as well. And the new beginning here with the Fool card. <sighs> Interesting. It just feels like uh, someone here is tired of where they're where they're working. Tired of having to compete with everyone or stand up for themselves or prove what they know. It just feels like a stressful kind of work situation here. Spirit, tell me more about this Five of Wands for Leo. We have the Ace of Cups. Someone here either got a new promotion, a new job, something like that. And there might be some squabbling going on behind the scenes that you feel, okay? Jealousy, uh, competing for your job, or trying to talk badly about you behind your back. Something of that nature here, okay? We have the Page of Swords. So you're really just focusing on learning something new in this new job or focusing on making yourself a better employee or worker or learning how to get through some possibly even how to get through some of these personnel type of issues especially if you have coworkers or you know people that work for you that aren't willing to work together i think that you're trying to figure out a way to make this happen okay this isn't going to resonate for every single person obviously but this is what i'm picking up on let's figure out what else is going on with this death card. Tell me more about this death card, Spirit. Very possible, this job situation. We have a queen of wands here. This is you, Leo. Really, really passionate about what you do. Having a good time. Um, looking great. Feeling great. Doing your thing. Very passionate about what you do. But then you, it, this is falling in with the death card. I really hope this doesn't mean there's an ending to your passion or an ending to your, um, it, it's very possible here that you're, that you're getting burned out, not wanting to pursue what this is all about anymore, or just feeling like you've put enough into it and you just feel burned out. Okay. We have the four of pentacles. Someone here is not making enough money in their current job. Okay, you need to make more money. If you're putting all of this work into something, you maybe even had a promotion that 
gave you twice the amount of responsibility for not that much more money. And so <laughs> I feel strongly that it's really starting to weigh heavily on someone here. Okay. Um, and this, the full card coming here might be that there's an ending to somebody's job and it's going to make you very happy because you, with this full card, you're ready to start something different. Not feeling it with this current job situation or work situation. Tell me about this full card spirit. Tell me more about this full card. We have the five of wands coming out again. Okay. Um, a lot of this conflict might be just within yourself. But I think that there is some kind of drama at work, some kind of competition at work that's going to cause some of you to walk away. Okay? You're ready. Look at you. Walking into a new beginning. And this middle world situation really speaks to that, you know, in between jobs, in between situations. Six of wands. Love it. So... Whatever happened here in this work situation, we have a six of wands coming out now. And this is you stepping into your power, stepping into what you deserve, what you want for your life, what you know you deserve. And I think you're, you're leaving behind any of this work so hard and not get a lot of payback. I think that's the situation here. You're not going to put all your work into something with all of this conflict and all this drama with these people. Um competition with trying to get people to do what you need them to do if you're a manager uh, or if you're you know working with co-workers who want to see you fail that's not cool at all you're leaving this shit behind whatever this is it's not worth it for you you're not wanting to do it anymore it's burning you out and if you leave and walk away from this situation I think that you're going to find yourself very happy ready to start something new ready to shed this drama this stress and walking away from it very cool for you leo because you really are going to find something that's going to help you shine something that's going to you know if you're not making enough money you need to something needs to change you're going to want to change that and i think that you're confident enough in yourself leo and have the the strength and the confidence to move past it and find something better suited for you in terms of financial and in terms of working with a group of people that are going to be supportive and want us all to succeed not feel like you have to compete on your same team when we're all here trying to reach the same goal it doesn't make any sense so i think that's a really cool move on your part here you're just kind of in between if you already have already left this job um you are kind of waiting around to figure out what is next for you. But I think that this confidence, this lighthearted energy that is coming forward for you is really awesome because it's going to help you land something better suited for you. Okay. Awesome reading for you, Leo. I really encourage you guys to go over to Faith and Fire Tarot and check out their career reading over there. Um, it'll get more in depth in this particular spread as well. Not this particular spread, but more in line with We'll go more in depth on your career on, in that reading, Leo. I will link to it below. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.